YouTube, what is good? Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. It's your boy Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, and today we're going to be breaking down how I turn this into this. So without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. First thing you guys want to do is you want to make sure you're clicked on your clip and you want to go over to your tracker and track the camera. I recommend opening the advanced tab and turning on detailed analysis, which is going to give you a more detailed track. Once your scene is tracked, you want to go over to this button here and you want to click create camera. Once you've created your camera, right click here, go to new and you're going to create a new solid. You can call your new solid title and hit enter. Then you're going to go over to effects and presets and you're going to type in element 3D. Once you have your solid with element 3D set up, you want to go over to your text tool and drag some text. Whatever the title of your video is i'm just going to call it title for the sake of this once you have your title typed out you want to make sure that none of the letters are touching each other so i'm just going to go and i'm going to fix them one by one here all right once you make sure none of the letters are touching each other you want to go into your element 3d layer go down to custom layers custom text and masks and under path layer one you want to select the text once you have that selected you can actually hide the text layer you're going to go into scene setup and then you're going to click extrude and then as you can see clicking and dragging you can see that your text is now in here if you want thicker bezels go down to bevel scale and you guys can expand that to whatever you you guys want i'm gonna go for something like that and then recommend going over to your presets dropping this down here going down to physical and then you guys can apply any kind of look you guys want i'm just gonna drag and drop the chrome look on all right gonna hit okay now as you can see we have the chrome look on but it's actually not reflecting to the environment if you guys want it to reflect to the environment you want to go down into custom texture maps click the first one and then click the video and then you're going to open your scene setup again and then you're going to click on the chrome here scroll down where it says environment click here drop down and then right here is going to show up the video hit okay Okay, again, as you can see, it's already reflecting. And there you go. It's reflecting from the video. We're going to open the particle replicator and particle looks. I recommend playing with the control Z, sending it further into the background. Play that through. Maybe you can drag it down a little bit more. Mess around with it till you get it to your liking. Just playing with the position Z and then the position X and Y. All right, I'm just going to crop that there. I really like the way that looks. All right, and then the next thing I recommend doing is going down to your rotation. I'm going to go to the very beginning. I'm going to keyframe the X rotation, bring it to about minus 30. Go to the very end and then bring it to about minus 17, 15. I like that there. We'll play that through. All right, I like the way that looks there. And then if you guys want, you can also keyframe the Y rotation, which moves it side to side. And the Z rotation, which flips it around like that. I'm going to keyframe the Z rotation, tilt it just like that. That, just a little bit and then once we bring it to the end bring it back like that it looks good right now but we can make it look even better so this is the sauce right here go down to multi-object enable multi-object and then we're going to go down to where it says rotation random we're going to keyframe that at the very beginning but we're going to bring it back like that and then we're going to go to the very end here and let's bring it to normal or maybe a little bit over normal i think that looks good there and we'll play that through we could even bring it back even more it's totally up to you guys and your preference all right i like the look of that there i recommend going in and adding rsmb just to give it the realistic motion blur and then also i'm gonna add some glow i recommend uni glow for this and then play with the threshold till you get it to your liking i like that there and then i recommend putting on flicker i'm gonna bring that down about there and then if you want it to match even more i recommend throwing on a lumetri color going under basic correction and then you can play with the highlights make it brighter kind of match this part of the sky here and then if you really really want to you can put on an hls color and you can actually change the hue of the text to whatever you want in this situation i would maybe match it to a flannel so around there give it some saturation and then turn the lightness down play with that to get it to your liking i think that matches this flannel very well and then for the last step here just to add some texture to it i want to make it blend into the background a little bit more i'm going to add some particles and some smoke overlays if you guys want to go download them they are free on my website i will have it linked in the description below also on my website are a bunch of really cool editing packs that you guys can download and add to your projects they make the process of editing a music video super quick and easy while adding a really unique and cool effect as well so i highly recommend you guys check them out while you're there we're just going to drag and drop those overlays in now so particle overlay and then a uh, smoke overlay all right we're going to turn off the smoke overlay press s to open our scale and turn up the scale of the particle overlay i'm going to click r to go to our rotation i like to rotate it at 180 degrees so the particles are floating up and then we're going to go to our mode and turn that on screen i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d opening scale again and then making one that's more zoomed in so we have those foreground particles and then i'm going to bring it to a different part of the clip so now that we have those particles there it blends it in a little bit more and then we're going to turn on the smoke overlay bring that to screen bring this down go to our transform and play with our opacity we get it to our liking i like it about there without it with it i like that there i think that's dope and if you guys want to take it to the next level as well you guys can add a camera blur onto the 3d text keyframe it at the very beginning when it's in the background turn up the blur and then once it comes to the very end turn the blur down and let's render that out 
All right, and that is the effect there, guys. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, I highly recommend checking out yesterday's tutorial. We went over a super cool distorted particle effect. I highly recommend checking it out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.